this is the activity on finding the factors of a quadratic polynomial so the objective of this activity is to show geometrically the factors of a quadratic polynomial in the form ax square plus bx plus c let's study the concept in hand first so a quadratic polynomial the general representation is ax square plus bx plus c and there are conditions associated with this standard form the coefficient of x square a cannot be 0 and a b and c they are all real numbers every quadratic polynomial has two factors and both these factors are linear that means they are in the form ax plus b so there are two linear factors of every quadratic polynomial so when you have to express any quadratic polynomial like x square minus 4x minus 21 it will be expressed as a product of two linear factors in this case it is x minus 7 and x plus 3 there are algebraic methods to find these two factors and students can learn all those algebraic factors but if you want to identify these factors experimentally or using an activity then there is an amazing activity for this yet another example can be x square plus 17x plus 66 where the linear factors are x plus 6 and x plus 11. Let, let us now see how we can derive these factors experimentally using the activity for which the material required is. We need some colored paper sheets, geometry box obviously for measurements, pair of scissors for cutting work and glue for pasting. Let's now perform this activity. For finding the factors of a quadratic polynomial like x square plus 8x plus 15, we require a square cutout of a colored paper sheet. The length of each side of this cutout is x. Then a rectangular cutout in which the width is 1 unit and the length is x units again. So same as that of a square. Likewise we need square cutouts of one unit each so these are the material required we require a single cutout like this we require eight cutouts like this and we require 15 cutouts like this now we need to arrange all these cutouts in a particular pattern so you can see we have arranged all the cutouts in the form of a rectangle. So what do you think is the side or the length of this rectangle? This was x, this was 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1. And therefore the length of this side is x plus 5 units. And similarly if you want to find the length on the other side, that is the breadth of this rectangle, this is x, this is 1, 1 and 1 and therefore this will be x plus 3 and therefore the area of the entire rectangle will be x plus 3 times x plus 5. Now let us check how we can find the area by combining the individual areas. What is the area of this square? It is x by x, right? So this is x square. This is x by 1. So this is x, 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 x and x. This is x, this is x and this is x. And all these small pieces are 1 square units each. So if you combine the area, this is x square plus how many x's we have here? We have 5 plus 3, 8 x's and 15 small pieces that is 15 units uh, area uh, in the small squares. So 
we have the required polynomial and therefore the factors of x square plus 8x plus 15 are x plus 3 and x plus 5 and that completes our activity.